the Champagne region of France may have reigned supreme in the world of sparkling wine for centuries, but increasingly it's being given a run for its money by one of its closest neighbors. England is now producing some of the globe's finest sparkling wine. MTS Tayab went to visit one world-beating vineyard just an hour from London. If there was ever a movie scene that captured the feeling of a glass of fizz, this might be it. Director Baz Luhrmann's take on The Great Gatsby. I'm Gatsby. With its eponymous hero, who sure knew how to throw a good party. Most of us think of the Champagne region of France as the true home of bubbles of distinction. But sparkling wine regions are popping up all over the globe. And this unlikely landscape may be one of the finest. It's England, whose rainy southern counties are making some of the best sparkling wines in the world. What we found is that the, the Chardonnay from this vineyard um, produces something quite amazing. Matt Sturgeonal manages this vineyard in East Sussex. It's won a lot of awards and uh, international trophies as well. So we know there's something quite particular about this, this patch here that we're standing on. Award-winning English wine isn't something you may have heard about, but that's what's being created just an hour's drive outside of London. Last year, this vineyard, Ridgeview, rattled the wine world by earning the title of International Winemaker of the Year. For more than two decades, the Roberts family has been making traditional method sparkling wine from three classic varieties, which include Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, and Pinot Meunier. Bottles of bubbly so good, it was served to President Obama at Buckingham Palace during a state banquet back in 2011. Simon Roberts is the head winemaker. We think this is a, a really good interpretation of what we want an English wine to taste like. So there's a lot of fruit on the front palate. It's what we think represents English sparkling wine. A hint of just how good this wine is came in 2010, when it was up against champagne in competition. And the winner is a Blanc de Blanc, and we were like, our wine's the only Blanc de Blanc. They said, and this wine's from England, Sussex, and we looked, yeah, my dad right. and I looked at each other and were like, oh my that's goodness, us. that's us. About us. A really big day for Ridgeview, but it was also a really big day for English sparkling wine. So, hey. Hey, here we go. Taking on a French champagne industry and winning may be partly due to this man, Chris Foss, an English wine pioneer. Honing his trade in Bordeaux, he saw the potential for an English wine trade and established a world-leading wine education centre just down the road from Ridgeview. How has English sparkling wine been received in the wine world, when you think of especially the old world, that they may no. look down their nose no. a little bit no, no, at no, English no, no, wine. No, they used no. to. You know, people are recognizing that the English wine industry is one of the fastest growing and most successful in the world now. What is it about the climate here that lends to the production of sparkling wine? So a nice slow ripening under cool temperatures and you get really, you know, get fruit with a lot of flavor, a lot of subtlety, a lot of character. And I think that's, that's, where we, that's where we win out. There are now over 500 vineyards in southern England, with an annual production in excess of 5 million bottles. A trend not lost on some of France's most prestigious champagne houses. Brands like Tattinger and Bollinger have been snapping up huge parcels of land in southern England, something few would have ever dreamed of even a few years ago. Back at Ridgeview, the Roberts family plans to double production by the end of the year. Every time you pour yourself a glass um, of sparkling wine, what do you think to yourself? Do you just think, I can't believe we're here? Sometimes I'll open a, a bottle and I'll taste it and I'll think, wow, that's good. And then you go, oh, well done me. Let's try it. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Imtiaz Tayyab, East Sussex in Southern England. <laughs> That'll be my toast next. Well, well done, me. Yeah, I like that. Right, he's surprised at his own success, which is really fun to see. Yeah. Less and less people are surprised now, right, yeah. Given, yeah. given how well they're doing. It appears schools. so. Yeah. Who knew? England. Yeah, for so long it was champagne, 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 right. and now it's opened the doors for so many others. It's still champagne, too. For some of us. Two. Maybe, but, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm open. Yeah. We'll try anything. We'll try. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.